We're here with our perfect yarn. Um, if you didn't see our previous episode, <laughs> we've designed a yarn uh, for Regia called Perfect, which allows you to knit two identical socks without looking for the beginning and the end because it's all there. It's marked with a yellow thread that you cut and throw away. And today we're going to show you how to do the little, the short row heel uh, that we do because we're knitting, usually, I mean, we like knitting socks from the toe up because then you can do a really easy sh uh, heel that we've shown you already. We've done a few tutorials that you can look for on Arne and Carlos' YouTube channel. Uh, but now we're going to do the short row heel because for the perfect, you have to start from the toe and the, oh, sorry, from the top and then go down. So it's a top-down sock, and then you need a short row heel. So Arne has been uh, gracious enough to agree to showing. Yeah. So this is like one way to do a short row heel. There's probably there's many ways. Hundred ways, but we show you one way, which is easy. I just want to make two rounds of blue before I do the heel. And we do the like the Norwegian way with five needles. We we never do circular or magic loop on socks. We like to work on four needles or we knit with five. So now you see I'm the sock is ready down to the heel and then when we do the the heel we work on this is the beginning, so we work on two needles for the heel. So I will work on these two needles. And what I do is I knit from this side and over to this side, and I, uh, what you call that, you skip one stitch on every, every needle, kind of. That's hard to say in English. Mm. Uh, so I, I'll show you. I just start knitting. So I knit the first needle like this. So I knit all this, these stitches. Then I go on the other needle and I knit all of them ex 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 uh, except. except the last stitch. So, see there, one more. Then I don't knit the last one. Then I turn it and I go back. And I slip the first off, and then I purl back. And then I come when I come to the next needle, I purl all of the stitches, but not the last one. So, and then I go back again on the knit side, and then I again I don't knit the last one of the, the remaining stitches, so then I have two leftovers. one I leave the last one and then I go back again with knits. So I slip the first and then I knit the rest. And then I continue knitting knit and purl like this on two needles 
And then when I have, like for this I think like six stitches left on each needle, like in the center, then I stop. Then that's like that I have enough for the heel. That depends on which yarn you're using or the thickness of the yarn. I think on this one I think six is good. So there, then I have two left on the, on the needle, but then you see there's a hole in between. So then I leave this and I go back, slip this off, and I go back like this. again nice now you, when you've done so many like a few needles then you see where the hole is on your sock so you know when you are one stitch before the hole it's time to turn the work and work your way back So there's, there's the, the hole, so I turn and I go back. Slip one and knit. And then when I, when I finish this, this needles, with uh, skipping one stitch, I will show you how to how to fill the hole or knit so you don't get a hole in your sock. Again, you see there's the hole, so I had need two more, and then I turn it. Now I have three on the, this needle, and I slip the first one and I purl back. Now you see I've been I've been knitting back and forth and I have these stitches that I didn't knit so I slip one I purl one two three four five and six, then I go to the next needle, I knit to the last stitch before the hole, so three, hi Freya. <laughs> yeah. Freya. And then when I, when I finish this, so Seven. Then I turn it again. And then I can't con start because now I have uh, no. I have six. I have to do one more. So I slip. I knit the next. Now I have six on this and I have seven, so let's, let me go back and make six on the last needle also. So I slip, purl the five, and 
and go to the, the other needle and I purl the six. And now it's I have six left on each needle. Then you can see the heel is coming. Let's see. Oh, that's a gorgeous heel. I know. So now I have to go and knit uh, these holes I made because you don't. I have to close those holes because you don't want that on your heel. And now I need. Now I've knitted it up to the stitch before a hole and the stitch after the hole. So I knit these two together. I lift the stitch below the last one and I make one and I turn it around and I purl back to the other side and I purl all the way until I have one stitch left before the hole. And then I purl the stitch before the hole with the stitch after the hole and I make one. Easy. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> so. and I purl from this side to the stitch before the hole. Purl these two together. Okay, so how are, how are we doing, Arna? It's coming. Let me see. Oh, wow, look at that. Heel is coming. That's a fabulous heel. I know. <laughs> and it's just knitting two together and you make one. So for my slip, I knit the rest of the stitches all the way to the other side. I think you've said Again. that a couple of times now, I haven't think, you? But there's nothing else to say. That's the way to do the heel, basically. <laughs> you slip, you knit to the other side, knit two together, make one, turn it around and purl back. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you haven't gotten that, Go on to our website. <laughs> There's a pattern there. We've written it down for you because Arna hasn't said it enough times, have you? No. So it's there. I can say it again. <laughs> Just watch me. Okay, look, I have two. I knit one more. There is one stitch before the hole, one after. So I knit those two together. I lift the stitch below the last one. Like. And suddenly I couldn't lift it. Whoops. That <laughs> yeah. always happens. It happens in the best uh, families, yeah. you know. Come on. I lift it and I knit. Okay. And while you keep knitting that. And I go back. Yeah. While you keep knitting that gorgeous <laughs> heel. I know. I just want to say a few things again about the perfect. Um, as long as you're knitting from the top down, because that is actually the only thing that you have to do so that perfect works. As long as you do that, it doesn't matter which heel you choose. Uh, the heel will come out anyway, and the pattern is going to be identical if you're using the same heel pattern in the, in the other sock. Both socks are going to be the same. Uh, the tension doesn't matter. Whatever tension you use, you're going to get two identical socks anyway. It's all amazing technology from 2016, <laughs> basically. And nobody else has this, so... You know, the people that do it, they really know what they're doing. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. I know. So, so really, perfect is the way to go if you're an advanced knitter and you just want to knit something mechanically without thinking. If you are an intermediate knitter that doesn't like mm -hmm. using two or three but, colors, do the perfect. And if you're a new beginner, trust us on this. Let me tell you something very interesting. Okay. If you look at this now, I'm purling. Yes. And what's happening? <laughs> I'm purling all the way to the stitch before the hole. Yeah, what's so funny? <laughs> Have I said this before? Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. now I get it. And there you see, there's the hole. So I purl this one. There's the hole. One stitch, one stitch. Purl these two together and you block the hole. 
how do you say that? You f close the yeah, hole? Yeah, you kind of, yeah, you get rid of the hole basically. Yeah, and I pick up a stitch and I make one, I purl a new one and I turn around and I go back again. And mm. now I'm almost there. And then what do you do beyond that? Beyond? <laughs> what do you mean? You go, yeah, when you do, <laughs> when you do all the twisting and purling and whatever. And then I do the foot. Ah, that's what I was after. Yeah. And we will put the whole thing. I mean, the whole pattern is, is on our website anyway. So you can just go there and see the rest of what happens. And if you have any doubts, come here, look at the tutorial, then go back to the pattern in peace and quiet. So let's see the heel. Put it on the table, put it flat. <laughs> let's have a look and let's show our viewers what the heel is looking like. This is, the heel is coming. Yeah, that is an amazing heel, basically. <laughs> I have to basically. say, it's, it's beautiful. And yeah, there you see, and you can see another one here. This is done in a slightly, yeah, looser tension, but it's still another heel. It should be easy now, isn't it? Yeah, I think with this, you can do any sock you, you want. You just knit and purl. Yeah. And we hope you enjoy the perfect. Um, nobody else is doing this because only Regia can do perfect right now. So, uh, yeah, just enjoy it. And uh, hopefully uh, next time we will have all these socks on our feet. And, and be remember, nice and when warm. you finish the heel, every time you knit two together, you should make one to fill the holes. I have to pearl. Okay, let's pearl. <laughs> let's Bye. Pearl. Bye. <laughs>